Today, I will be showing you how I made my Mini Me's sweater. Hey guys, I'm Grace. Welcome back to Everyday Barbie. Today, I will be showing you how I made my Mini Me's sweater. Before we get into the video, I would like to give some quick shoutouts. The shoutouts today go to Kimala, Diane Laird, and IOSA Live. Thank you, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you'd like a chance to get a shout out on my videos, all you have to do is subscribe and let me know in the comments that you did. All right, on to the video. For today, I will be using the same fabric I made my first one to show you guys. Um, the way that we are using this pattern is you want to fold your fabric in half and you're going to place the edge of the pattern up top at the folded edge. And so now I'm going to just trace it out, cut it out from here. So then we will have our fabric cut out. So here is my piece. When it's all cut out, it's going to look like this. And then I also cut out a long strip of the same fabric. We'll need that strip to make these nice edges that we have here on the sweater. I'm gonna take my strip, cut it to the right length, and fold it in half. Now I'm going to take my strip and sew it good side to good side. I'm going to do that the exact same way on the other arm. Now that I have both arms done, um, we are going to turn it inside out. All I'm going to do is sew up the arms and the body. Got both sides sewed together, so I'm just going to turn it right side out. I'm going to cut a very small corner right here. Now looking back, this is completely unnecessary. You don't need to do this. Just don't. So I'm going to cut straight up. I just went ahead and did it off camera so that way I didn't mess up. So next, we want to make the edges nice and like hemmed in. So for that, I am going to be using the fabric glue. So I'm gonna start with some glue. Hopefully I don't ruin my nails. Just like that. Now this top one, we want to add a little more fabric to get that kind of V shape. And then I'm going to just hem in the rest because we just want it all to have a nice clean edge. You can use little clippies uh, to kind of hold them in place. And I'm just gluing it just down to where I want the buttons to go. So I'm leaving a little bit of space because we still need to add this bottom piece. Once that is dry, so that way it doesn't fall apart on us, I'm taking a, another strip that can go all the way around to both edges. And we're gonna be doing the same thing like we did on the ends of the sleeves. And now our sweater has an awesome, nice edge. So just this one side, I'm going to glue down this edge. We're gonna leave the other one because that's where we're gonna be sewing our buttons. We wanna make sure we have enough fabric to do that. Just like that. I'm gonna take those two pieces. They're gonna overlap here. I'm sewing my two buttons right there. I'm sewing both through both pieces. Um, you don't have to do that. You can just put Velcro here. Sew the buttons to one side if you want it to open up here. But I just want mine to stay closed. So I'm just gonna sew my buttons to both sides. So that is my mini knees sweater. I know it can be a little difficult to get that V shape. So if you're not comfortable with gluing it, definitely sew it so that way you can try it again if you don't like it the first time. 
Um, also, the pattern makes sure that it's wide enough, the right length, and I made sure to add a little extra length to the arms. This length isn't bad, but I accidentally made them too short. But don't worry, the pattern has all those things fixed and it should be good to go for you guys. I really hope that this tutorial was helpful and that you enjoyed making this sweater. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!